Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to work with the recycler view. So here's a small demonstration. I have a simple app here, it's just a single activity, and it implements a recycler view. So as you can see, we have a list that has in each row an image, a name, and this is a status. So we're going to create, we're going to create this from scratch and we will see how to create a recycler view, how to create a custom adapter, and how to apply the two together so that you get something like this. In this as well, we will also, in this tutorial as well, we will also work on click events so that when you click the row, something happens. In this case, I've created a custom dialog, but for now, I'll just show how to make the click event, how to register the click event. And we can work on making this nice custom dialogue in a different video. All right, let's get right to it. So I have a brand new project here. I've named it Recycler View Example. It is building. And the first thing we will do is we will add our Recycler View to our activity main.xml. So to use a Recycler View, you need to have the dependency in your Gradle file. And this is that dependency. If you were to add the recycler view without putting this dependency, it would add it automatically to the file and rebuild your project for you. So that's also good. Okay, even as it's building over in my activity main, I've gone ahead and put a linear layout instead of the default constraint layout. It doesn't really matter. We will only have one widget on this activity main.xml. So now that it's finished, I can search here for recycler view and throw that onto the design and give it the ID of list. And that is all we will do there. So now in my main activity, I can simply say recycler view people list is what I will name it. And here I will say people list is equals to find view by ID r.id.list I will also create a context variable it is just my own personal preference to have one of these context 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 is equal to this okay Okay, next, I see I have an error here, so let's check on that. I did call it list, so I guess I just need a quick rebuild. All right, uh, even as that is going on, the next thing we will do is we will create our model class. So we're going to create a list that love people with the profile picture, their name, and their status. So we'll create a class that will have those details and I will call it person and there's the class. So simply int icon, string name and status and that is it. And we could actually leave it at that. That's our class with all the things that it needs. But just because it's good coding practice, I'm going to go ahead and add constructors. So we'll actually definitely need a full constructor, but again, just as good practice, we will make an empty constructor as well. So there's the empty one. And then we will also make getters and setters. Alt insert, getter and setter, select all of those. And there it is. Main activity, that error has gone, so that's good. All right, so we now have our model class, and these are our three variables that we need. We can close that. The next thing we will create is our row design. We will design how each row will look. So in our layout, I'll select new layout resource file and I'll call this single single parcel. And I will make this a relative layout. Feel free to use whichever you like. Linear layout, constraint layout, it's up to you. Okay. 
and here we will have three things so the image as you saw and by default we can have this I see launcher but you will notice that in my drawball I pulled in a number of PNGs so this is what I'm going to use feel free to bring in any from the internet or wherever or even to use the default ones that Android has the default images it has it's totally up to you for this example right I will change this ID to icon and then I can pull in, oh, and also I will change wrap content to 80 dp so that regardless of how big the image is, the height and the width will just be 80 dp. Okay, next thing I want is my text views, so the one for the name and the one for the status. And I can change the size in the text side, so this will be... 30 dp and the one below that will be 20 dp one final thing I can do is give some margin so I'll select the image go to all attributes and give it 10 dp for all all sides so there that looks good Okay, and then now we have to work on the relative layout itself. So if we were to leave it like this, each row would take up the entire screen with a bunch of white space right underneath the details. So what we need to do is select the relative layout and change match parent for its height to wrap content. And now you see that that blue outline surrounds just the details that we want. Okay, good. So now we're done with that. We can go back to our main activity. Close others. And we can create our list of persons. So list person people is what I will name it. And here I will say people is equal to new array list. And underneath that I can go ahead and add to this people list. So I'll say people dot add. And I can create a new object of person so new oops new person and now I can use that constructor the first one was the icon so r dot drawable dot baby next I give it a name so Uganda and finally I give it a status And then what I'll do is I'll duplicate these and I'll pause here so I can change a few details, give us a bit more variety before we continue. And there it is. So as you can see, I've just gone ahead and changed the image so I can use a bunch, change the names and given a few different status, statuses. Okay, so that's our list created. Next thing, we have to create our adapter. So I will name it person adapter and call the variable adapter and of course it will throw an error because I haven't created this person adapter class yet and underneath this I can write adapter is equals to new person adapter and this person adapter will take as an argument the list, the list we created, the people. Next, I will create a linear uh, layout manager. So, layout manager, select that. Layout manager is equal to new linear layout manager. And this requires context. So, this within here, I could have written main activity dot this. That's what is meant by context. The app wants to know where we are at the current moment but you will find yourself using context for many different things so it's best to just create a context variable initialize it context is equal to this and wherever you need it you simply type context okay and now we need to apply this layout manager to our recycler view so our recycler view is called people list so we say people list dot set layout manager 
layout manager and again for the adapter so adapter sorry no people list dot set adapter adapter and there we have it with these four steps we can create i mean we have done the task so first you create your recycler view in your in your xml and you connect it recycler view people list is equals to find view by id r.id.list and then you create your list your actual list so here we have people is equals to me array list we created ours manually but of course this would be feeding from a database or perhaps an api whatever it is and then you create your person your adapter your custom adapter person adapter and you create your layout manager and you apply both of those things to your people list your recycler view so people list dot set layout manager layout manager people list dot set adapter adapter simple as that now of course our next step is to create this person adapter class so let's do that now we could create it separately we could come here go to new java class but to keep it simple and since this is a one activity app let's create it right here in the same class so right underneath our own create method i will type class person adapter extends recycler view dot adapter and in pointy brackets i will write person adapter dot view holder okay and now that error disappears and it's accepting this person adapter as something that exists but here we see that we have a few errors on our person adapter one of which is this view holder which is yet another class that we'll create inside the person adapter so let's do this one step at a time to begin with inside our person adapter we can create a list of person objects which we will also call people and then we'll create a constructor so alt insert select constructor and this is the only variable so we select that and then let's just create this view holder class so class view holder extends recycler view dot view holder put our braces and the view holder class will hold these these widgets of ours so our image view our text views or whatever other widgets that you would create when you're making a custom row so image view icon text view name and status and then we need to create a constructor so we can actually put our cursor next to the line with an error and a light bulb will appear the red light bulb and we can select create constructor so here it is this is the constructor it's created which calls the super class and here we simply have to say icon is equal to item view which is the view object that's passed in dot find view by id r dot id dot icon so now this refers to this icon okay and i'll duplicate this and change this to name and change this to name as well and then i'll change this to status and change this to status as well so i have a couple of errors let's check what's going on so back to my single person and i can see i did not change those ids to the proper ones so this should be name and this should be status and with that these errors should disappear given a moment yeah we'll just give them a moment i'm sure they'll go away okay so that's it for the view holder class that's done now but there's still an error here so let's go see what's up 
It says, the class must either be abstract or implement on bind view holder. So there are actually three methods, uh, not just on bind view holder that we need to implement. So once again, we put our cursor within the error, the light bulb will show up and I can select implement methods and say, okay. And here they are. So on create view, on bind view holder and get item count are the three methods in question. Meanwhile, I can, meanwhile, I can be building my project so that these errors disappear and we can start with on create view holder. So what I'll do here is I'll create a view object, view view, is equal to layout inflator dot from, then we pass in parent dot get context, and then at the very end of the line, we say dot inflate, and we must pass in this single person dot XML. So r dot layout dot single person. And then the next argument is false by default. We can just type false and it will be fine. And then here instead of returning null, we can return a new view holder because the return type for this method is a view holder. And within that we pass the view. And that's that. I believe I've forgotten one argument in my inflate method so let's see parent there it is so it's the custom layout your single person at xml followed by the parent the view group that's passed in and then attached to root can just be left as false and that will be fine then you return new view holder and you pass in that view that you just created okay next thing on bind view holder so within this we now Within this method, we are able to actually set the icon to the proper image, set the text view to the proper name, set the status text view to the status. And how we do that is we first create a person object. So person person is equals to the people list. And we want to get the person at this position. So the position is passed in through the through the bind view holder method next thing we call the holder which is our view holder dot icon dot set image resource to the person sorry the person dot get image get icon sorry next holder dot name dot set text to person dot get name and I'll duplicate this line and change this to status and change get name to get status and there we have it so that's our on bind view holder and our on create view holder and that just leaves get item count this one is pretty straightforward instead of return zero we want to return people dot size simple as that and that is all so let's run it and see whether there are any errors we need to fix and here's our list and it's worked perfectly although of course this time I put a slightly lighter font color but it's still fine it still gives us all the names so we have our image we have our name and we have our status for each person showing up exactly as we expected, which is good. Let's see if we can scroll and yeah, it's scrolling nicely. Okay, now the next thing of course is clicking. I'm clicking right now, but nothing is happening. So how can we implement a click listener on a recycler view? It's very simple. Back to our person adapter class and within it our view holder uh, where is it here it is our view holder class all we need to do is to implement on click listener it will throw an error because let's take a look it needs to implement the method on click so once again I'll click this and click implement method and select on click 
So there's our on click. The code that we write in here is what will run when you click a particular item. Another thing we need to do is within our constructor, we need to set an on click listener to this view object. So item view dot set on click listener and we just say this because the class or this this class implements on click listener okay and now in here as i said for this tutorial i just want to show you that we can create the that we can make the click events we can log the uh, register the click events sorry and another one will actually create that dialogue so I'll just create a log message and by the way if you didn't see that I typed LOGD and just pressed enter to get this and I'll replace this tag with click and I'll replace this on click with uh, what let's put the name just so that we know who we're clicking so we can say name dot get text dot to string simple as that so I'll apply those changes and as it is running I will pull up my log cut with alt 6 although you may find your log cut option is just there at the bottom left corner you can just click it if not alt and 6 will bring it up and here I will type click to filter through all those messages and now if I go back to the app, it is opening again. Let's shift it to the right. And now I can click this and I get Muganda Imo. I click that and I get Dave Davis. I click this, I get Stanley and so on and so forth. So now we're actually registering our click events. Scroll down, click Nancy, you get Nancy. And there we go. So we've done it. We've created a recycler view. We've created our adapter and we have applied the two together so that we can use our recycler view, uh, so that we can see our list rather. All right, so I will leave it at that and in the next video, I can show you how to create a custom dialog box. Thank you very much.